Hello class, professor. My name is Casey Shaw, and this is my brief, great leader briefing. There have been many great leaders throughout history. John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr., Margaret Thatcher, and Rosa Parks. Leaders in history offer great knowledge and skill to study for today's leaders. However, technology has changed the way we receive information in the way we do research. Leaders of today are constantly being portrayed on social media, through news media, movies, and in other ways. With that much attention, one can't help but to be drawn to the message and styles of today's leaders. Which brings me to my great leader, Nick Saban. A football coach, you ask? Not just a football coach. Nick Saban is a mentor and a leader. Nick Saban has had more than 400 graduates while being their coach or leaders of their program. These graduates move on to other professions besides football, touching more lives than can be imagined, most of which are affected daily by something passed on to them by Nick Saban. Nick Saban was born as Nicholas Lou Saban, Jr., a.k.a. Nick, October 31st, 1951, to Nicholas and Mary Saban. Nick is from Fairmont, West Virginia. His father owned a Gulf gas station in a Dairy Queen, where Nick began working at 11 years of age. Nick was also the quarterback for a Little League football team that his father coached. Nick graduated from Monoga High School in 1971, went to Kent State, and graduated in 1975 with a bachelor's degree in business and a master's degree in sports management. Nick has been shaped by many life experiences. In 1970, March 4th, during the Vietnam War protest, four students were killed by the Ohio National Guard at Kent State. Nick was attending school. He has said he did not see the shootings happen, but did see dead students on the ground. And later described the incident during an interview and said that the event affected him deeply. Nick was looking for a head coaching job in 1987. As Kent State head football coach, but was hired by the Houston Oilers to coach in the National Football League. He was overlooked and saw himself to fail. Yet that failure and other experiences helped develop Nick as a leader. In his mindset, he'd be responsible for his actions, his vision, and how to respond to failure or loss and discipline doing what needs to be done when you don't want to do. <clears throat> Describing Nick's personality, his personality is often questioned. If you've seen him in the media, seen sports writers write about him, he's differently portrayed. Yet when his players speak of him, he's portrayed in another light. His influence his influence goes very deep. Nick has displayed reverent power. His players often respect and look to him as a father figure, which is commonly missing in American culture today. He also displays expert power. 43 years of coaching and six national championships should qualify Nick Saban as a competent leader in his field. Nick Saban is a competent manager and a skilled leader. In management, he provides structure, establishes agenda, rule, and procedure. And one of the most the things I, were, uh, I love most about Nick Saban, and I think is his best attribute, is he's an amazing motivator and great at inspiring others. Nick is intelligent, determined. He has a strong drive and great discipline. He speaks of being persistent. 
his integrity. He has a strong set of principles and is worthy of trust, to which he attributes mostly to his moral Catholic, his moral compass but as being a devout Roman Catholic. Sociability, he is assertive and exudes positive energy. Nick Saban has many styles of leadership, and he displays qualities of those styles in many different leadership styles. The behavior approach theory, Saban is displayed as a team manager on the leadership grid, where promotes a high degree of participation and stimulates participation clearly stating the priorities. Very task-oriented, placing emphasis on tasks to be performed. The situational approach theory, it's obvious and expected for him to be in the coaching option. He's very high-directed and high-supportive. But I do believe that Nick Saban displays a path goal theory as well as any of the others. He's very achievement oriented. He challenged coaches and players to practice and work at the highest level possible. Nick makes clear the standard of excellence at which he expects coaches and players to seek while continuing to improve. His accomplishments, Nick Saban is a six time NCAA national championship coach. One at the University of Louisiana State. Five at the University of Alabama. Nick Saban was a head football coach in the National Football League for the Miami Dolphins. But that's where the coaching stops. Nick Saban developed the process. It's a system he implemented by placing in emphasis on consistency of performance in all aspects of life. Year after year, Saban graduates students, athletes from the University of Alabama with the tools for success. Nick is a co-author of how, to, how Good Do You Want to Be? It is a book containing tips from a champion on how to lead and succeed at work and in life. Nick is also a partner in a Mercedes and Infinity Auto Enterprise based in Birmingham, Alabama. Being in that leadership role, he occasionally speaks to large audiences about leadership. Nick Saban defines leadership as Provide the leadership to develop the relationship to help people take advantage of their opportunities and make sure they have the discipline to do it. During Nick's speeches, he often tells the story and how he relates to his players. He tells them, if you want to be happy for an hour, eat a steak. If you want to be happy for a day, go play golf. If you want to be happy for a week, go on a cruise. If you want to be happy for a month, go buy a new car. But if you want to be happy in your life, ask yourself one question. If I didn't show up here today, would anybody miss me? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you to study leaders, great leaders, like Nick Saban, like Martin Luther King Jr., like Margaret Thatcher, like Rosa Parks, and like John F. Kennedy. Study these people and make sure that if you were gone, you would be.